and grand rising to you butterflies today is october 7th and this is meditation mondays we're back my name is tamisha spencer and once again i'm so glad that you came to share some wellness time with me take some time out of your day to just relax and share a bit of wellness. Um, before we get started, let's just go over some simple guidelines that I like to share before doing the meditation with you. Um, I'll always guide you with the breathing techniques that I use, which I do a count of four on the inhale and the exhale. Um, and you just need a quiet place that you want to relax and whether you're sitting or lying down, it can be inside, outside, it doesn't matter. Just make sure it's a place where you can concentrate and relax. And that's about it. Um, so if you're ready to begin, let's begin. All right. So get into your quiet place and whether you choose to sit or lie down, let's Let's get into our position of sitting or lying down and let's take a couple of deep breaths together. And before we take a couple of deep breaths together, I would like to just ring the bell for you. It's just a, a simple chime that I ring and I'll just ring it three times to let you know that we're going to begin the meditation. Okay. <laughs> Let's start over. Okay. Testing one, two, three. And grand rising butterflies. This is Meditation Mondays. And my name is Tamisha Spencer. Today is October 7, 2024. And I'm so glad that you've taken you've taken out time to share some wellness with me um, and you've taken out some time out of your day to do some relaxation for yourself. And before we get to the meditation, I'd like to go over some guidelines with you just to refresh because it's been a while. Um, just some simple things. Um, the only thing you need is a quiet place for yourself to relax and enjoy the meditation. It can be outside, it can be inside. You can sit down or you can lay down. It doesn't matter. Um, just as long as you're comfortable. And I will guide you with a count of four on the inhale and the exhale. So you don't have to worry about that. I'll always be here to guide you with the, the breaths. So you don't need to be an expert. Anybody can do this. So let's do it. But before we begin... I just realized, you know, September. So there were a lot of birthdays in September, um, one of which was my birthday. Um, my birthday was on September 2nd. Um, so I was blessed with another trip around the sun. Happy birthday to me. And it was my 47th birthday. So that was my birthday today on the 2nd. So happy birthday, Tamisha. And... Then on the 12th was my mother's birthday. My mom's name is Cynthia. Happy birthday, mom. And I wish you many more birthdays for such a beautiful, beautiful lady with a beautiful soul. I love you, mom. All right. So now that we've done those things, let's begin. So now that we've found our spot, let's just take a couple of deep breaths. And before the deep breaths, I'm just going to ring a bell chime three times to let you know we're beginning. Testing 
So just relax. And let's take our first deep breath. Let's inhale. Two, three, and four. And exhale. Two, three, and four. Again, inhale. Two, three, and four. And exhale. Two, three, and four. And as you inhale and exhale naturally now on your own, you feel your body starting to relax. And as your body relax, you feel a little bit more looser in your muscles. As you inhale and exhale, peace and joy. You feel your limbs starting to loosen, your, your toes, your legs. You feel that your lip, your, your hips have loosened, your shoulders are beginning to settle. And even if your eyes are starting to close, that's okay. If you're comfortable with closing your eyes, you may close your eyes. And if not, you may find a, fo a soft focus point to focus on. And as you further relax, you begin to feel yourself drift off into the cosmos. And as you look further behind you, you see the Mother Earth planet getting smaller and smaller. And as you look around the cosmos, you see stars twinkling and you see different planets like Saturn, Venus, and you pass a constellation like Orion's bow. And you're searching for your destination now. And we are searching for the planet Virgo. And in the distance, we see the planet Virgo getting bigger and bigger. You see colors like indigo and purple. And you see them getting more vivid as you get closer to the planet Virgo. And as you ascend down onto the planet Virgo, you see a soft green meadow. And you gently land in the green meadow and you can feel the fluffy grass underneath your feet. And you gently land in the grass and you lie there for a moment just to observe everything around you. You smell the the aroma of sweet rosemary in the air and you feel the gentle breeze against your hair and your cheeks and off in the distance you see the indigo blue of the ocean which seems to fade into an aquamarine type color and as you look to the left you see a nice red bridge that is arched over a stream that seems to be the most crystal clear blue you have ever seen. And even off further into the distance, you see glows of auras coming towards you. The auras seem to glow in colors of orange, red, pink, green, all the colors of the chakras and even a sparkling gold. They are the auras of your spirit guides who have come to see you. And so you run to them, you run faster towards the bridge and you run past the bridge to catch up to your spirit guides and you embrace them. Your spirit guides joyfully embrace you and they sit in the grass with you to have a conversation with you. They share wisdom with you. 
So listen to what your spirit guides have to say to you, and I'll be back for you. After a few moments of having a conversation with your spirit guides, your spirit guides reach for your hands to pull you up and they lock arms with you to walk with you. They accompany you to the bridge, the red bridge that arches over the stream. Once you and your spirit guide get to the middle of the bridge that arches over the stream, your spirit guide sets you in front of him or her and they point out into the stream at a crystal rock that is sitting right on top of the stream, just floating. Your spirit guide reaches down into the stream and scoops up the crystal your spirit guide puts the crystal in your hands. It feels smooth in your hands and it's perfectly round. There's no blemishes on the crystal at all. Your spirit guide puts their hand over the top of the crystal. And as they put their hand on top of the crystal, the crystal lights up in brilliant colors, just like their aura when you first saw them over the horizon the colors of orange, yellow, purple, gold, all light up in the crystal. Then your spirit guide takes their hand off of the crystal, takes your hand and places it on top of the crystal. Your spirit guide says to you to put all of your intentions into that crystal. the things that you want to happen, the things you want to manifest, what are they? So take a moment to think and list the things that you want to happen and put all of those energies and intentions into that crystal. And I'll be right back for you in a moment. You have listed your intentions and put them into your crystal. And so now you look at your spirit guide and you, you give the crystal back to your spirit guide. Your spirit guide takes the crystal and your spirit guide tosses the crystal back into the water. The crystal does not sink into the water, however. The crystal floats on top of the water and the crystal emits all of the colors of the rainbow out of it. And the crystal seems to sparkle and glow and glitter as it floats down the stream. It almost seems to have fireworks coming out of it that go up into the sky. Your spirit guide embraces you as you watch the display of beautiful colors go up into the sky from the crystal. Once the display of beautiful colors is over from the crystal and you can see it no more, 
your spirit guide turns to you, locks arm locks arms with you once more, and walks you off the bridge, back into the meadow from where you came. And your spirit guide embraces you once more. And your spirit guide tells you some more words of wisdom. And then your spirit guide shape shifts the same way they came and they turn it into that beautiful sparkling gold and green and purple light. And then they just dissipate up into the air and you watch them as they leave. And as you watch them leave, you have a sense of encouragement and confidence. And then suddenly you feel lighter. And in fact, you feel so light, you begin to float back up into the air. You begin your journey back to Mother Earth, back into the cosmos from where you came. You pass all the familiar planets once more. Saturn, Jupiter, and the constellations too, and all the beautiful twinkling stars. You pass Orion's belt, and you know you're getting closer to Mother Earth, as you can see her getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You ascend down towards Mother Earth once more and back into the place where you began your meditation. You feel a sense of security because you feel the surface that you began at underneath you again. And as you sit or lie down, you take a couple more deep breaths just to accolade yourself again to the surface. So let's take a couple deep breaths. Let's inhale, two, three, and four. And exhale, two, three, and four. Again, inhale, two, three, and four. And exhale, two, three, and four. You can feel the surface of the, of the place where you were lying or sitting. The walls have come back. If there were walls in the space where you began your meditation and you slowly start to move your limbs again and re-familiarize yourself with the space that you began your meditation in. And you also open your eyes slowly as you're ready. And you may start to stretch again. And as we end this meditation, I'm going to ring the bell for you three times. And I would just like to thank you for participating in the meditation once again with me. My name is Tamisha Spencer. Thank you very much. And remember, we can heal the world one human at a time. And I'll see you next time for the next meditation. Bye now. Thank you.